Hey there, guys. Come on, YouTube today. How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys about Trimmels today. About the two different model Trimmels I have here. I have a Troy Built unit from 2012. It's a pretty good uh, Trimmel. And I have a Home Like uh, Mighty Light SS uh, Trimmel here from 2007. And the reason why I switch to a newer brand of a different company to have a different experiments with a uh, Trommel I know had and bought. I like my Trommel, uh, Trommel. it works pretty good. Um, I've been using the, the home likes for a while now, from, at least from a couple years ago I've been using the uh, home like trommels, but the problem with these trommels, this home like trommel, is this one originally had a carburetor choke style uh, system, and it wasn't just like a normal uh, carburetor airbox assembly on it. Uh, it's a straight shaft, uh, straight shaft, non-attachable uh, trommel hill, and over here I have a ugly head trommel, uh, Cuddle Hill, and it does have a very small gold on it, and stuff like that. It does have a couple of arm features, uh, like, you know, the standard trommel features, a two-cycle engine. The, uh, turbo is also a two-cycle engine, but it has an electric stall and stuff like that. It's pretty nice. But I really like, what I like about the, uh, turbo, uh, unit here, it has the split shaft or the split boom, uh, feature here if I can put different attachments on it and stuff like that. And also it has a carburetor and airbox assembly. It has a small uh, E3 spark plug like this one has just a standard uh, spark plug and stuff on it as well. Let's go ahead and show you guys the trommels itself here. Alright. I'll uh, take you guys off of here and show you guys what I'm talking about. There's the two trommels side by side. One is the home leak and one is the troll belt. You can see they both have the ugly head uh, trimming head on them. They're pretty good trommels. And they're both uh, straight shaft. One's a split boom. And here is the uh, Mighty Light SS uh, engine now. I did a lot of modification to it and stuff and put a different uh, carburetor and stuff on it. And here is my Owen Trommel Hill, the uh, troll built unit. It's a pretty nice two cycle engine. Well, well built, by the way. Stuff like that. Uh, let's go and move this guy down so you guys can see. It's a well built machine. Pretty nice. Uh, it's a very nice machine. I like it a lot. On the back of the units here, I don't know if you guys can see, the troll belt one here has easy stalt. The home like it does not. And by the way, this is a 2012. This one is from 2007. You can see I rebuilt it a couple a couple of weeks ago. Uh, by the way, the engine on this one is dead. It's, it's blown. But the engine on this one works just good. And this is the exhaust side of the engine of the troll belt. It does have a very nice uh, clutch function and it also has a very nice throttle system as well. I like the on and off switch. The on and off switch is always on. And it does have the pull startle. So you can see I kind of Use it a couple of times, and you see the pool starts a little dirty, but that's normal with uh, when you first get new units. You gotta break these guys in. Um, here's that very small spark plug. It's very small. It's, a, it's not a standard size spark plug. This is a Robo uh, carburetor on here. It's a pretty nice carburetor. Uh, it's an adjustment. It has a throttle, throttle control system, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and talk about the clutch. Well, 
the clutch is up there on the end of the trommel itself. What's really nice about this head is I can actually spin it without turning the en trying to turn the engine over without damaging the engine itself. And yes, it does have the ugly head trommel. It does have a lighter uh, gold than my home like uh, machine. But see, if I try to turn this one, I, mean, I can turn it, eh, but it's really hard to turn because it apparently has too much compression in it. And if I turn it backwards, it doesn't do anything. It just springs back like that. But this one, uh, nothing. It just like just you know, like spring it back. It just doesn't do anything. It doesn't go back. It just spins like that. And you can also adjust this for the idle adjustment uh, on the carburetor right here. The tiny little screw where you can adjust it to idle it, make sure it's spinning the correct way and not spinning at all for it engages the clutch. And what I really like about this. Uh, Boom, this is a boom attachment function is I can actually take the I can twist the knob by twisting the knob here I can actually loosen the boom here and I can actually detach the lower portion tr trimming head to a different attachment by pushing the not the push button the push uh, system in it Right here is the uh, push, and all you do is just slide the slide the attachment out like this. You can put uh, different attachments in. Oops, see, <laughs> just like that. It detaches the uh, trimming head from the rest of the uh, trimmer. Now, by putting the trimmer back together, it's very simple. What you do is just reattach it again. It's a very loud click when you put it in there. Sometimes it'll go in there, it's a little feisty sometimes, but you can get these uh, boom uh, trommel heads on out. And it is twisted and clicking in like that. And you can see, I have my attachment back on. It's pretty cool. I like it. And the reason I like it a lot, because now I can do different uh, trimming, uh, trimming heads and different attachments for and stuff like that. I really like this trommel. It's a little more heavier than the May Light uh, trommel, by the way. This is a bit more heavier. I can actually pick it up. Oh yeah, it's pretty heavy. But it's still a good trommel. It's built well. Built in uh, Mexico, by the way. This uh, machine's Mexico. It's built in Mexico. This one here is a Chinese uh, Chinese guy from home from Home Depot. This one's also pretty light, but pretty heavy too. It's called a mighty light. That's the reason why it's called a mighty light. I really now like the throttle system on this one because the throttle system was back here. Wasn't really a fan of the throttle system being in the back. I always prefer the throttle system in the front of the trommel for you can actually have the control of the trommel and when you turn it off, you don't have to reach here and turn the push switch off but with the on you just when you're done with the engine you just push and stop with that and these two use two different spark plugs so you're both are running E3 spark plugs this is running an E316 this one is running an E312 uh, spark plug I don't have the stock spark plugs in there because I save a, I save some fuel and gas on it and by the way I'm not cold with installing these guys today because I don't got any troll mix uh, for to uh, to start these two guys. And I can't really start this one anyways because this one's a dead engine. And this one here is a Zamba carburetor. By the way, it's a, it's a Chinese made car, but it's a pretty crappy carburetor. Uh, it's a still a good car, but it's still pretty crappy at the same time. And let's go ahead and show you some of the specs on this one here. This one has a brand new uh, air cleaner box on it because I had to replace the air box assembly on it. And you can see it's pretty. It's a pretty tricky, pretty tricky air box to come apart. But yeah, this used to have the rotor choke uh, curl system on. 
It doesn't anymore. I took that off. And put a just a standard uh it's a standard uh carburetor airbox assembly on. And like I said, it's a it's a very gnarly tight uh box to get off. Or oh, the lid is mostly the the lid is the toughest to get off on these uh brand new boxes you see. Just has a standard uh, air filter assembly, you know, stuff like that. It's pretty nice. It looks pretty clean. The uh, sponge is pretty clean as well. It's a brand new sponge and stuff. I really like using the ones that have the sponges on it, guys, or the cleaners with the sponges. Uh, you can get replacements and stuff like that. And by the way, yes, this does have the push to stop button function. But again, with this, uh, the way this engine is designed, you can see you have a bit of a gap from this air box to the to the ground out the block right here. That's why it has a separated uh, a separated kill switch. And the throttle on this one, it's the same thing. It's a butterfly throttle. It's a Z-bend uh, Z-bend cable. Uh, let's go on to this guy. This one is the robot carburetor. You can see it has all the different instructions right on the air cover assembly to help to start it easier when you need to start it. And this Dremel uses a pre-mixed gas, gasoline and oil. Same thing with this one, 50 to 1. This one's a 40 to 1. Let's go ahead and show you the carburetor itself. Now again, the carburetor on this one's uh, sitting kind of this way, kind of sideways, versus this one is sitting on kind of like on the top, like this one is just sitting straight. This one sits sideways. Pretty cool. I like it. This one has kind of a different uh, choke style. It has this kind of like wheel from one to two to three to fully start the engine, stuff like that. The idle adjustment screw. screw. Now this one here is kind of the same way. Just put your fingers in the back. And this one's also very nice. Again, I constantly keep them clean and stuff like that. Again, here's the air box on this guy. Again, here's the way this choke system works. This is on uh, one. This is on two. This is on auto three. Now you can use to you can use whatever to clean these guys, and it still smells like a very new engine, and because it is because I haven't put a lot of hours on this little guy. Just snap it in, and it just snaps in like that. And how the air flows by this, the way this box is designed, is the air flows from this little groove right here and up and into the filter. And you can put some oil on the filter to co collect some of the uh, debris and stuff like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a pretty nice little uh, trimmer and stuff. This one's the same way. The way this one works is it sucks the air from the bottom of the uh, airbox assembly. Now let's talk about the uh, easy start system. Now this is an easy start system for people who don't want to pull the cords and the you know don't want to pull, don't want to have to fix the breaking the cord. All you do is buy an attachment for your drill. You can buy the uh, easy to start electric starter uh, for this uh, unit. And by the way, on the average of the gas on this guy, it's a pretty pretty good size uh, little small tank kill. The same function this this guy has, but this one has a bit more of a beefier tank. This one has a little bit more of a bigger tank. This one more has kind of a cove-shaped tank here. Now again, this is a pretty nice little uh, call. You can see I can pump fluid into it and out of it to actually drain out the carburetor for the winter and stuff like that. I just ran this a couple weeks ago. I mean, yeah, she's a little dirty, but sometimes you gotta clean them. They all get dirty eventually. But hey, gotta clean them. And what? And again, the way the wiring is on, it's all through the handle. 
It was that clutch I was telling you about. The model on this one is TB32EC. That's this model for this one. You can see it's a very easy to pull over machine. Now, the model on this guy, I have to flip up and to look underneath the bottom of the machine itself. Oh my goodness, she's pretty heavy. Yo. The model on this beast, if you're curious as the mo what model this one is, this one is UT21546. And it is from 2007, by the way. And that's the reason why I wanted to buy a newer machine. Because I knew a new machine can do all sorts of different attachments and stuff like that versus the home lakes and both yes they're both all straight shaft units and they are pretty good here's the uh gearbox on this one you can see it's just a standard standard size gearbox so it's all Leo Norman stuff this one here is a separated gearbox where you can pack some grease in here versus this one you would have to uh Take this nut off and uh, put some grease in that way. This one you can just take this all apart and pack some grease in there. Whatever grease you decide to use. And the ugly head trimmer heads are very good. By the way, you can see how much use I got out of this one. It's already scuffed up. I gotta get a new one now. This one, eh, not too much. It's too, it's too gnarly. This one has a bit of a longer, uh, longer, uh, Stem here versus this one has a shorter stem. That's a pretty cool looking trommel here, guys. And I don't know what else to say about these trommels here. I think they're very good trommels here, guys. I'm gonna sit you guys back over here on the JPEG. And we'll just go ahead and talk about some of the features on why I like. The uh, the trommel uh, trommel. The reason why I like the trommel trommel, it's a uh, upgrade so on this one to this one because it has the attachable uh, booms, and I can uh, buy different uh, trimming equipment for just this one instead of having multiple equipment. Now again, you can turn this into a leaf blower or a, a trommel. But you may not can turn it into a snow blow. You may still have to buy a snow blow to be able to uh, unplow your driveway or snow blow your driveway and stuff. But this one here is a absolutely worthless piece of crap. I had it for about seven years now because it's from 2007. Uh, it's absolutely a piece of junk. I don't recommend uh, you guys ever buy a home light, guys, because the older uh, home lights used to run a lot better than the uh, uh, newer home lights. This one, it's done. It has a blown engine. Um, it has too much compression in it. Can't start it. It's just too. It's just too hard to pull over. Well, oh, this one, very easy to pull over. Uh, stuff like that, but this one here, uh, I'm not gonna fix it anymore, guys. This is this is uh, now worthless to me to fix. I'm not gonna buy an engine for this guy. The engine's too expensive just for this unit alone, and it's just may as well just buy a brand new uh, weed whacker one. Well, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scrap it eventually. And to save the stuff I'm going to save off of this one. And not really worry about it because I don't need it no more. Because I got my Trollville uh, unit hill. It works very good. A lot better than this one. And this one, yeah, I'd say, roughly about pretty heavy and stuff. But you can also buy different, you know, either shadow straps and stuff like that. But alright guys, I don't know what else to say about these trommels. The two different trommel cell. One's a home like one's a uh chore built. But like I said, uh, please subscribe. 
please leave a comment, please share, please like, uh, peace out, bye guys, we'll see you in the next vlog. Keep you guys updated.